I'll introduce you. Uh, this is... Oh, I'm the cleaner he hired. The cleaning lady. Oh, uh, hello. What did you make? It smells good. Let's see. What is it? Uh, now that the house is clean, I'll get going. Hey. Let me. Mom. Join us for dinner. No, son. You two eat together. I have a train to catch. <laughs> Mom. I want you to live well. If you're well, I'll be well. All right, I'm leaving. Annie? Yeah? <laughs> How come you're suddenly here? Hey. You have to work later tonight. I don't want you to try my cooking. <sighs> That's so nice. Let me help you. What did you make? Wow, it smells really good. Mm, I used some paprika, then chopped it up, and stir-fried it. You, you told your mom, right? Told her what? Told her <laughs> we're getting our marriage certificates. Oh, I'll tell her about it later. There's no rush. Uh, I'm just worried. <sighs> I'm worried she won't approve. Think about it. I met her just once. Don't you think that we're being a bit, you know, uh, a bit, a bit too rash? <laughs> sure, it's a lightning marriage. What's wrong? You're scared? There's still time for you to back out now. Oh, no, 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 no. Honey, that's not what I meant. In business, I'm fast, precise, and ruthless. There's no deal I won't do. No contract I won't sign. So the decisions I make, they're absolutely... That means... <clears throat> you think us getting married today is just a business deal. <sighs> Look, oh, hey. Eh? Excuse me, dear. Yes, Mr. Liu. Hey, wait, didn't we plan to sign it this afternoon? Yes, I'm busy now. I'll call you later. Okay. What were you trying to say? <laughs> I just wanted to say, I love you. Do you know that? I don't know. Anyway, from today on, when we walk out this door, what's yours will be mine, and what's <laughs> mine will be mine. All right, dear, it's all yours, <laughs> everything. Hi, Mr. Lee. See you at noon at the Trade Center. Number 38. Coming. Let's go, honey. It's our turn. Oh, all right. I'm quite busy here. Okay? Sure. Let's go. Would you put your phone away? Is work more important than this? Do you want to get married or not? Here. Right here. Hi. We're in number 38.
box. So why does it say Andrew? And this is... Oh, I'll introduce you. This is... Uh, I'm the cleaner he hired. The cleaning lady. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dreamland of the Ocean. We'll be setting off soon. Please remember to take part in the safety drill. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dreamland of the Ocean. We'll be setting off soon. Please remember to take part in the safety drill. What can I do for you? I wanted to have a drink with you last night, but remembered you're drunk. No, actually, I've given up drinking again. How many times now? <laughs> Seriously? Seems like you're not drinking coffee, so... Hey, waiter, can I have what she has? Carrot juice? <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Is something on your mind? I don't know how to explain it to you. What does that mean? You want to tell me or not? Did you know that Nick and Kevin got transferred? I'm guessing it's HQ's decision. Right. But they're both your father's men, right? As things stand now, it doesn't look good for Mr. Tong. Will the Asian talent plan be affected by this? That's what I'm worried about. So it's Su Yang you're worried about? Do you really think Zion will be the winner of this whole program? Of course. His ability, mental aptitude, character, and the fact that he's your fiance makes him second to none. So, from a professional point of view, you think Wang Ziyang is excellent? He's excellent in every aspect. Is he not, Annie? Of course. I just don't think I know the real him. Why is that? I get it. <sighs> it's because he didn't give you a big diamond ring? Hey, You're not hey, happy, hey. right? Because the diamond's not big enough and he doesn't love you that much, right? Stop teasing me. I'm going to work. I have a lot to think about. Annie. I advise that the two of you have a good talk before you get married and make sure you put everything on the table. Before you tie the knot, that will be best for both of you. Do you get what I mean? Understand. Tell me a little bit. What are you drawing today? I can't quite figure it out. Why don't you tell me what you're drawing? What's this? Hey. Where are you climbing to? <sighs> Lola, you know what? If you scratch this fancy car, your daddy can't afford to repair it. You're not listening. Let's go back home. We can play with your dinosaurs, okay? Let's play with a fire breathing dinosaur. Raw, raw, raw. Sound good? Mr. Bai. Mr. Ding. Hi. Hey, why are you here? I had a meeting here. Oh. Kiddo, what are you doing? Look who's here. Why draw here? Do you want to ride in my car? Hmm? Mr. Ding, so this is your car. It's fine. Oh, I'm really sorry. Hey, Lola, no get down it's now. Fine if he's happy. Hey, let me take you for a ride. Sound good? Car. Want to go? Car. Listen, I'll give you two a ride home. Oh, no. Mr. Ding, we wouldn't want to trouble you too much. It's okay, as long as your son's happy. Come on, let's ride in the car. Come on, come on. Let's Uncle go. Ding will take us back home. So, uh, did you confirm the time with Lilla's father? Yes, I did. I said I'd visit Lilla today. Does he know that I'm coming along? 
He knows. I told him there would be a mysterious guest as well. Hmm. Good. Don't worry. You bought Lila's painting on the ship. He'll like you. This is it. Oh no. What's wrong? We've been spotted. Spotted by whom? Paparazzi. Stop. Pull over. Then what do we do now? You need to go in by yourself. Right. I bought some snacks and toys for Lilla. Take these for me. Won't they still take photos of me? Not unless I'm with you. Take some photos of Lilo, enjoying the toys, and send them to me later. Huh? Go. Then I'll go in. Yeah, see you soon. See you. She's leaving. She's leaving. going on? He must have noticed us. Miss Tinya, come Hello, in, come where's in. Lola? Lola, there. He's having fun with Dean Kai. Oh, here, take these. Come on, don't be so polite. There's no need to bring so many things. Oh, these are not for me. They're from the mysterious guest I told you about on the phone. Planned to come with me, but something came up. So I brought them here on his behalf. Mysterious guest. Who's that? Uh, Wee Yang. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Don't stand there. Have a seat. Sit. Lila. Look who's here to visit you. She brought all these snacks and toys for you. <laughs> Lila. Hey, where is he? <laughs> this kid. Lila, are you drawing another picture? Lila, the floor is very dirty. How about we go draw in your bedroom? Come, let's go. Hey, come on, I'll carry you to your bedroom. Oh, there's lots of crayons in there, right? You two can rest here. Let's go. doing here? Seems Lola and I are fated to meet. What do you think? <laughs> I'm so sorry. My house is really messy. I have some fruit here. <laughs> Eat whatever you like. I heard that children like Lola, sometimes they don't say anything. However, they remember everything. Is that true? Yes. Lola's very different from ordinary children, that's for sure. But he really has a talent for painting and drawing. As soon as he picks up a pencil, he can spend the entire day drawing. You're the only one taking care of your family. It must be difficult. <laughs> I'm fine. Isn't your wife living with you? Are you... Referring to Lilo's mother. She's been gone for quite a while. Oh, so you're taking care of your son all alone. You must be financially strained, right? Uh, well, I'm all right. How do you earn a living? Here, have some orange. Oh. Uh, Listen, look, don't get me wrong. Here's the thing. My company started a charity tourism project. Uh, after the auction on the cruise ship, we started to wonder if it'd be possible for us to do more to help autistic kids like Lilla. I'm very grateful that you're willing to help Lilla and me. To be honest, taking care of Lilla all these years 
That's been bittersweet for me. Seven years ago, when I saw this boy for the first time, I knew my entire life would be completely different than before. I needed to be a good father, a more careful, patient father, who was willing to sacrifice everything for him. I needed to teach him to read and write, as well as how to wash his hands, how to eat, <laughs> and of course, how not to pee on himself. Normally, at this age, he should be in school, but ordinary schools won't accept him. And I don't want to send him to a special school. I'm worried he might be bullied. I really don't know why. But the longer I live with him, the more afraid I'm becoming of everything. As soon as I leave the house, whether I take him with me or not, I can't help worrying. I'm afraid to get sick. Because if I'm sick, there's no one, no one to take care of him. In fact, I'm also afraid of getting old and leaving him. Have you considered remarrying? For Lilith's sake? <laughs> Look at me. I'm not a great catch. So what woman would want to marry me now, huh? <laughs> what a coincidence. I didn't expect to see you there. It's obvious that what both of us want the most hasn't changed. Really? Why do I remember someone saying our lives were headed down very different paths? Did I say that? Yeah. I don't remember. I do. Since you remember things so well, let's start all over again. Um... You... Hello? What is it? Have you left Lilo's place yet? Do you need me to pick you up? I've lost the paparazzi. Alright, when will you book the plane tickets? Plane tickets? The plane tickets to Hainan. Oh, I'll do it now. Then apply for reimbursement. See you there. Let's go. So after our last media push, most of our followers have had a positive reaction to their childhood sweetheart story. So our next up is going to be what? I'll contact the person who published the popular article. So Wool. This place is in the middle of nowhere. There are no restaurants. Oh, you're so annoying. It's a village, not Shanghai. Okay, do you think you're on vacation? Are there no hotels here? It should be here. Are you Miss Tianyue from Shanghai? Yeah. Hello, I'm Tianyue. Are you Mr. Wen? Uh, that's right. I'm Mr. Wen. Give me a moment. I'll come right down. Okay. You see? It's here. Hey, Miss Tianyue. We finally get to meet. Hello, Mr. Hello, Wen. Hello. Oh, this man is Wu Yang. He's our project's goodwill ambassador. Oh, he's the well-known pianist. <laughs> hello, yeah. hello. Hello. I've cleaned up your rooms already. Come, I'll show you to your rooms, okay? All right, thank you. Good. Come. Here. Let me, oh, let no me. worries. You know, this is a rather small place. It's the best we can do. I hope you'll forgive us. Oh no, this is very nice. Thank you. Then I won't disturb your rest. Have a good night. Mm. I'll take you to the school tomorrow. Okay. Uh, sir, hold on. Tell me, is there maybe a better room here? No. I'm so sorry. This is really the best we have around here. Uh, no worries. 
We've troubled you enough already. All right, uh, in the suitcase here are donated clothes and shoes for the children. You can hand them out. Oh, you carried it all the way here? Then thank you on behalf of the kids. You're welcome. <sighs> thank you. Well, have a good rest. Thanks. A room like this? Thank God it's only two nights. Do you ever stop complaining? This is the best they have in the whole village. Oh, you need to get ready. You'll do a live stream soon. Make sure you use your charming personality to interact with your fans and show you care. Then more of your followers will start to care more about kids in need, understand? I'm starving. <sighs> I have instant noodles. No signal. No signal at all. Hey, how can I live stream? My phone has no signal either. What now? No idea. Let's just sleep. Your room is next door. Go sleep. But you're scared. I'll stay here. Who said that I'm scared? Aren't you very scared? Go to hell, piggy drunk. Get out! Aren't you scared? If I go to hell, who will help you? Go to sleep now. I'll wake you up in the morning. Will I hear you in hell? Enough! Go sleep! Hey! I seem to have a signal. Hey, hey, I have signal on all three phones. Come on, set it up. Okay. Be careful. Hello? They're doing their morning exercise, and we'll be back soon. Oh. I told them all yesterday that a big celebrity will visit them at the school today. And the kids were so thrilled. I didn't expect a classroom like this in a village, sir. Let me ask. Yeah? Is there a music classroom here? Oh, we don't have that yet. But I believe one day we will have one. Oh, in that case, I'll donate some musical instruments to you. Wow, that would be great. Of course, of course. Thank you, Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu, yeah? you said that there's no music room in the school. But I remember in the list of things we donated last time, there was a piano. Where is it? Piano? We never saw a piano. You never received a piano from our company? No. Such a big, expensive thing. I would definitely remember if we received one. That's odd. Something's off. Oh, don't worry. Maybe it's still on the way. <laughs> According to Tian Yu's schedule, I was supposed to play the piano for the kids later. It seems like we can't do that. Hey, Mr. Wu. We don't have anything that big. But we do have some small musical instruments. Small instruments? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. Look at all the page views we have now. I know. It seems like Mr. By replacing Director Yan with Tian Yue was a smart move. Hey, do you know what? Director Yan hasn't showed up for work for us. Has it been a week? Seriously. Thank you both very much. The kids love the clothes you brought. You can see they're already wearing everything. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time, okay? There's no rush. Each of you will get them. You're next. <laughs> Meet. Hey, listen, children. Sit tight, huh? Right, take it in. You're both. Make way. Make way for the others, okay? When will it be my turn? All right, take this. Let me put your bowl here. An egg. Step inside. Sit down and eat. Meat! Okay, here you go. Give him some meat. You can get more oh, if meat. this is enough. Meat, all right. Here, here. Let me. Thank you. I'd like some. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Here. That's a lot of meat. Put it here. Let me taste yours. I don't have an egg. Oh, really? 
Then, here, take this. Take over this for me. Hmm. Hey, hang on, young man. Hmm? So tell me, don't you already have an egg in your pocket? After you eat it, you can get another one. But if you already have one, but tell them you don't, then that'd be lying, right? You don't want to be a dishonest boy, right? No, I don't. So if you take out the egg and show it to me, you'll still be a good boy who can admit your mistake. Good boy. What's your name? My name's Xiao Jun. All right, then tell me, why did you take one extra egg? One isn't enough? I have a little sister at home. I want to take one more for her. Here, take this. Go ahead and eat. After you finish, I'll give you another plate for you to take home to your sister, okay? Mm. Good boy, go on. Mr. Wen. Yeah? Has the school been like this for a long time? Recently, haven't things gotten better? You know what? I'm grateful that you could both come visit the children here. But to be honest, things haven't really gotten any better here. Hey, Tian Yue. I want to play outside. Me too. Let's go. Yeah, take let's go. So what are we playing? Come here, let's go. Okay, I'll take this. Hey, we are playing me. outside. Let's Xiaojun, go. can you do me a little favor? Hmm. Write your name and address in here for me, okay? My name is like this. Then a dot. This notebook and this pen are both yours now, okay? Thanks. Steady hard, okay? Hmm. What's wrong? to go back to Shanghai. There's something wrong. Something's wrong with our donations. They weren't delivered to the kids. So you want to go back? Yes. I need to go now. Can you calm down first? How can I calm down? Someone's stealing from poor kids. These things are very important for the children. If it's really what I think it is. I need to go back right now and figure it out. Let's say, someone at your company is stealing things from the children. How will you deal with it? Expose them! Expose them? If you did, you, me, and your company would suffer. Look, I know that you're angry. I'm angry too. But you should calm down, and think this through first. After something like this, the first thing that comes to your mind is your reputation might be affected, right? Come on, Tianyu, let me- You've disappointed me. Listen to me. Hey, listen to me. I'm not just thinking of myself. I'm thinking of everyone. If you expose this, you'll lose your job and your company. The kids wouldn't get a penny after that. You know that? Thanks for the heads up. I'll figure it out myself. Tianyue! Tianyue, you're back. So weird. Do you know that even the thank you notes that we got were completely forged? This person must be high up to be this bold. I know who it is. You know who? It's Yang Meiling. Director Yang? Sit down. She hasn't come to work for a week already, and no one in HR can reach her. Seems like I was right about this. Nobody wants to see something like this happen in the company. As the president of this company, I'm responsible for this. I picked the wrong person. 
Then we should call the police. Why would we do that? To bring her back here. What evidence do we have to prove that she's behind this? Even if she didn't do it, we need to ask her to clear this matter up. What about our company's reputation? Tianyue, I understand how you are feeling, but it's not as simple as you think. You're right. This involves more people than just Director Yang. I've already thought everything through. It's such a big project, and the company invested a lot of into it during the past two years. Yang Meiling had a great power, but she couldn't have done this all alone. So you mean, maybe Director Yang and her team were all involved? That's why I said this matter isn't that simple. I need to think about it. You can go back to work now. But Mr. Bai, things have gotten out of control. They never received any of the things we donated. I really underestimated how greedy people can be. So this is something I need to reflect on for a while. But look, Tianya, you don't need to worry. Things are not as bad as you think. I'll contact our investors and sponsors and ensure the kids get what we promised them. But fixing this problem is something that I want you to handle. I don't know if you're willing to accept this responsibility. I accept. I'll do my best to finish helping the school. However, Mr. Bai, this might be the last thing that I do for the company. Tenya, please don't be impulsive. I've thought it through. I just can't make myself feel okay about this. I'm sorry, Mr. Bai. Tenya, don't make a hasty decision. Take care of the project in Hainan first, and we'll talk about what happens next, okay? Mr. Bai, I want to take Lola to the amusement park tomorrow. I'm growing to really love your kid. Of course, I would like to ask your consent first, as his dad. Of course. Thank you. Lola! Lola! Look here. Lola! Hey! Hey. Lola! Lola! Wait for me! Huh? What is it? You're tired? Lola! Lola! What are you doing, huh? Listen to me. Just calm down. This is a hospital. If someone finds out, it'll look bad. Who is the patient's family? Me. I'm the patient's family. Is my son okay now? Are... are you also family? Uh... I am the Goodwill Ambassador for kids like him. 
The child's father told me what happened, so I came right here. Oh. How's my son doing? We've run some tests, and his asthma seems to be hereditary. His what? Asthma? Are you mistaken, Doctor? I don't believe the child's father's ever had asthma before. Are you sure you've never had asthma before? I'm sure, but... The kid's mother does. Yes, must be one of you. Doctor, my son never had asthma symptoms previously, so how come it suddenly flared up? Hereditary conditions don't always present themselves immediately. Sometimes it takes many years. It's also related to his physical fitness. Uh, you don't need to worry. At present, his condition is stable. If anything changes, I will notify you right away. What the hell happened? How could he suddenly have an asthma attack, huh? Uh. Hello. I think I need to explain what happened earlier. I'm a friend of Mr. Bai's, and today I took Lula out to play. It might have been the hot weather that suddenly aggravated it. Blame me, not Mr. Bai. Blame you? Who do you think you are? Are you responsible for him? If something happens to Lula, I will make you pay. So what's Yi Yang's relationship to you and Lila? Uh, here's the thing. Uh, Mr. Wu is a goodwill ambassador for our group, so he came here to check up on Lila. Sorry about today. <sighs> Mr. Ding, this isn't your fault. How can you let a child spend time alone with a stranger? Dinkai's no stranger to Lola these days. They've become very good friends. Lola likes to hang out with Dinkai. I allow it. Because it makes Lola happy. <sighs> happy? How many times have I told you? Lola is not an ordinary child. He can't run around like most kids. Don't you understand? Shall 